But I want to talk about self-talk, okay? Mm-hmm. I want to give you an example. You asked me about my past. You know, I was born poor. When I was born, actually it was a, a, a little later, we lived in a mobile home, two-bedroom mobile home. The bedroom, my bedroom, was small enough I could touch all four walls, you know, within an arm's distance like this, okay? Um, we were happy. We didn't. I didn't know we were poor, right? So that's good. But I had some wonderful parents, hardworking parents, grandparents that – that provided. But as I started getting new information, I came across a guy named Bob Proctor. If you, are you familiar with Bob Proctor? No. Okay. He's, he's, I'm sure he knows that guy, that being gay guy, because he, he, the Nightingale, he worked for Earl Nightingale as well. So he has a lot of YouTube videos and I started listening to some of his stuff and it sounded, you know, kind of wacky, kind of woo woo. I'm like, what is this guy talking about? But the more I studied it, the more I found out about affirmations and how affirmations really work. Now, most people, Jeff, have the wrong idea about affirmations. They think that it's a magic spell that you know you you that you say or that you chant or whatever it is that you you say this magic spell. And if you and if you meditate just right and you hold you hold your fingers right and you cross your legs right and you look at the right spot in the sky that you you know that you magically get this thing that you're uh, that you're desiring that you will kind of uh, name it claim it type thing but it's not what a real affirmation is is saying something or putting something into your mind with such such intention such repetition and such emotion that your subconscious, which controls the majority of what we do you don't have to tell yourself to breathe when you drive home from work you you're not thinking about changing lanes and looking in the rear view mirror and hitting the brakes when somebody's in front of you, your subconscious mind is doing this. So when to, in order for our subconscious mind to act out what we want, we have to put that into our brain, into our mind rather through repetition, emotion and intention. And it's a law of a universe. It is not woo woo. It is not a little bit of truth. It is the law, the governing law of the universe. It's the, all the way back to reap what you sow. There's so many ways that people say it, but they don't explain how to get it. So if you want to reap what you sow, you need to be sowing that which you want. So I'm going to give you an example that I used when I was a very challenged person that did not have the money figured out. And before the before we were on this show, you were talking about the fact that I have, you know, a private plane and I have the business, as you mentioned, the business is on here. But remember, I told you, don't ever take advice from somebody who hasn't already done what you're trying to do or what you want to do. So, you know, I, I, I have a whole lot of financial success now, you know, real estate, businesses, equity, cash, stocks, retirements, a lot of things, you know, worth a lot of money that I acquired by adding value to the marketplace but by also teaching myself that I needed and that I deserve this money. So I'm going to give you a mantra, if you will. I'm going to give you a affirmation that helped me get to where I am today. And it's, and I still use it to this day to get to the next level because the more money I have, the more freedom I have. Is that okay? I got my pen out. Okay. You can just. I think you're recording this. You can go back and watch it. Now, remember, doing this with intention and with emotion – is very important. You might look silly the first time you do it. So get in your, when you're in the car by yourself, that's when I used to do it when I was driving to work. I am so happy and grateful that money comes to me in increasing quantities through multiple sources on a continuous basis. I am so happy and grateful. Say it again. I'm going to say it again because you got to do it 10,000 times if you want it to work. I am so happy and grateful that money comes to me in increasing quantities through multiple sources on a continuous basis. I am so happy and grateful that money comes to me in increasing quantities through multiple sources on a continuous basis. Say that self to your say that to yourself ten thousand times. You can't help but be changed. Can I um, offer something here? Please. Wow. Okay. So you, I'm resonating with you so much. You're so up my alley. Oh my god. I just love you. What you said about the affirmations. We have a. And about when you drive and you don't pay attention to your turn, your turn signal and mirror, et cetera, this is all happening at a subconscious level. I agree with you that everything that we're good at, we do on a subconscious level. We don't think about which side we start on brushing our teeth. We don't think about if we inhale or exhale on our back 
stroke on a golf course. I mean, you know, whatever we can do well, we don't have to think about. So what a flight, and you have a plane. So what a flight simulator is for professional pilots or fighter pilots, I don't, well, I mean, I guess now on anyone's computer, you could have a flight simulator. But what a flight simulator is, Billy, is the same thing that you're describing. This is putting in the subconscious over and over and over and over again a scenario that a pilot will go through so that if that emergency situation really happens or that scenario, how to land with a crosswind, whatever, really happens, the pilot has already experienced it, although they've never experienced it. Yes. I have a simulator in my pool house, man. I have the, the three the three screens, and I have all the different programs to give you all those things you're talking about that you that you hopefully you never experience. But in piloting, and I think the same can be true in life itself. The the uh, the old adage that you rise to the occasion is not true. You're not going to just you know if 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 a I have a little bit of mixed martial arts background, so I could do well against a lot of people. But if you know. Some guys from the UFC showed up and said, "Hey, you know, let's 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 spar." I'm not going to rise to their level. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fall to the level of my most intense training. So that that's what the fight the flight simulator, uh, anything you do repetitively for a purpose, you better do it a, an awful lot if you want to get good at it because you're not going to rise to the occasion when you're needed when that extra intelligence and that extra umph and all that's needed you're not going to know how to fly that plane if you haven't practiced it in a simulator or at least with a safety pilot with you you have to to train in whatever scenario it is that you want out of life well your affirmation though really to me is that flight simulator this has been jeff stearns connected through cars 